Highly esteemed and honorable viewer, you are here because you know something. What you know, you cannot explain, but you feel it and you felt it your entire life. That there is something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is precisely, but it is there like a splinter in your mind perhaps driving you mad. You do not realize your own situation. You are in a prison because of the lower minds controlling this world in bondage to the system, in bondage to the digital matrix. The way out of that bondage is to enter within. The way out is within. Within your own brain temple. And ultimately it is a triumph over the animal nature, your lower survival energies that have been exploited and for all practical intents and purposes, form the bars of your jail cell, your prison cell, via the five senses and a lack of knowledge, but triumph over the animal nature. But first, you have to find the spear of destiny, the staff of Ra. King Solom An's temple gateway. That's the secret. Solom An's temple is the human brain where the skull divides. There lies the gate of God, a gateway. The symbol of the twin pillars have since time immemorial guarded the gateways to holy places and mysterious realms. They mark the passage towards the unknown and the otherworldly. In ancient Greece, the pillars of Hercules was the phrase that was applied to the promontories that flanked the entrance to the Strait of Gibraltar. The Northern pillar is the rock of Gibraltar in the British territory of Gibraltar. And keep in mind, all this symbolism and the rock of Gibraltar is actually the pineal gland of the brain, the stone that the builders rejected, guarding the passage towards the unknown. The lost realm of Atlantis was situated beyond the pillars of Hercules, in effect placing it in the realm of the unknown. Renaissance tradition says the pillars bore the warning. Nothing further beyond. Once the electrical energy from the solar plexus rises up the spine and culminates in the third ventricle, the formex, that is the end of the journey for the electricity. So we can see the injunction, nothing further beyond the fornex of your brain. No one is allowed in there, not even you. It is reserved for the Christ oil and electrical energy only. Going beyond the pillars of Hercules can mean leaving the foulness of the material world to reach a higher realm of enlightenment, to reach the fifth dimension, the new earth, This is all symbolic. People are being misled as if the fifth dimension is some place that you travel to 
It's all within. The kingdom of heaven is within. You free yourself from the third dimension, from the madness around you by the baptism sacrament of what baptism really means. Baptism has nothing to do with water. It, it equates to meditation. Parting the Red Sea is stilling the chaotic waters, uniting the left and right hemispheres of the brain. That is what it meant, turn to the right, to the right hemisphere of your brain, which is the God mind, the God brain, higher realm of enlightenment. You are a sailor in the biblical mythology and your body is the ship. The mast is the spine. You are sailing the waters of life when you are in meditation and the energy from the solar plexus is rising up the river Jordan, the spinal fluid in the spinal canal. And if you're getting the intimation, the thought that this is all relative to Kundalini awakening and Kundalini Kunda energy, you are quite correct. Ulysses holding fast to his spine in meditation as he overcomes all of the monsters of the id or shadow self come against him. Mastering your lower nature, your animal nature. Ultimately, if you don't, if this doesn't intuitively speak to you, at some point you have to confront that way of life, that prison, if you will. You must master it and rise above it. The two columns called the pillars of Hercules in ancient Greece stood at the gateway to the sphere of the enlightened. Keep in mind that the pillars of Hercules are the same as the pillars of Hakim and Boaz, referring to the Masonic tradition, but as well as the two pillars that Samson pushed apart in the Bible myth. The two anterior pillars of the brain, which stand guard at the entrance to the holy, of holies. The pillars of Hercules as a gateway to a new world, the new mind, the God mind that you ascend to, which is new earth, when all of the current citizens of this earth are in their God mind, new mind, then we will have heaven on earth. According to occult lore, Atlantis is a civilization from which all hermetic knowledge emerged. The rebirth of this lost kingdom has been the dream of mystery schools for centuries. The lost city of Atlantis is the higher conscious state. Atlas had seven daughters, seven islands, seven chakras. This is all mythology, seven churches in Revelation. Over and over again, this knowledge repeats itself, much as the golden mean, patrons, fractals. We are all patrons, representative, replicate patrons, holograms, fractals of the hologram, of the great hologram from source, from the divine grid programmer. We are all individual codes, divinely designed, divinely coded by the divine grid programmer. So perhaps the portals or gateway to the Holy of Holies is beginning to resonate with you and you're beginning to draw your attentions away from these outside energies and look within as you begin to make these intuitive connections with your God mind. The temple made without hands, his people to build. The, this was the only temple God allowed his people to build, the temple made without hands. The only way in to the Holy of Holies was by the sacrificing of the animal nature, your lower nature. You must rise above that or else you're caught in that loop, feedback loop of continual madness. Unless you particularly enjoy that. Your animal nature being burned up in the Holy of Holies, the fornix or the furnace of the brain. Now we have the final atonement, atonement, which was the Christ, which was Jesus. He died so we can enter in through these portals. He is the lower nature that dies to the higher self. Jesus becomes Christ. 
Samson and Hercules represent the Christ oil that has risen to the brain and reactivated the brain cells at the right side. The mind brings down the house of iniquity. The people in the temple are all the thoughts of the lower mind. 3,000 died that day. Always drop the zeros. Three is the day of resurrection in the yearly sun cycle and within you. The temple of Solomon is a symbolical representation of the right hemisphere of your brain. The Holy of Holies is at the right side, your God mind. It is very important for people who are new to these matters to understand that it is all about the human body and brain. The pillars of the left and right anterior pillars of the fornix on either side of the fornix The central channel opens and Chi Kundalini rises up to the eye, which is the actual physical pineal gland. When the pineal gland is open, you will perceive reality the way it actually is and not the dualistic illusion which most people think is reality. But first you have to pass through these pillars, Yakin and Boaz, and then enter into the land beyond for which there is no return. Black and white checkerboard are not just symbols of good and evil, the duality of mind. The floor of the Masonic temples represents human cautiousness. So we have, uh, as I, in one of these videos I made not too recently, going over the symbolism of the eye of Horus and the eye of Ra and all that, and how this all equates to the brain, left hemisphere, right hemisphere. You have all the technology within you. That is what the black magic technological uh, artificial intelligence hive mind digital matrix is all about. They want to supplant this natural, divinely designed technology, organic intelligence, and supplant it with artificial intelligence where they're in control. So we shall all be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Not eyes, but the optic thalamus, the single or perfected eye. And here are the secrets, secret words which Jesus the living spoke in which Didymus Jude Thomas wrote down in Gospel of Thomas. And Jesus said, he who shall find the interpretation of these words shall not taste of death. Ninety percent of the cosmos is a mystery to humans who use ten percent of their brain. Tuned into the wrong streams, the brain and the cosmic web, tree branches and signals. Most signals are delivered to dendrites. That is heart. Those are heart electro, elect, electronics. So a part of the brain that receives and delivers electric signals is dendrite, which means tree. We suddenly realize that the part of the brain that provides the information is called dendrite or tree. Now. Let us go to a definition of the word dendro or dendrite. Scientists speak of the universe as resembling the human brain. And now we see that the universe is like the spider web. The word mana is of the root of manite, which means sugar. Now let us go to the brain. Brain sugar is galactose, or galactose is a milky sugary substance. Milky Way, the cosmic sap. Pineal gland secretes a yellow golden fluid. The pituitary gland secretes a white fluid, land flowing with milk and honey. The energy in the solar plexus must pass through these two interior pillars before the energy can reach the fornix and activate all these dormant brain cells in the right hemisphere of the brain. That's God. That is your God mind. That is why the kingdom of heaven is within. And so just to kind of further reinforce uh, some of the uh, symbolism and uh, I just wanted to just leave this video with just a bit of wisdom from the Emerald Tablets decoded. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. See, all of that with information Truly without deceit, certain and most veritable. That which is below corresponds to that which is above, and that which is above corresponds to that which is below. To accomplish the miracles of the one thing, and just as all things come from this one thing through the meditation of one mind, so do all created things originate from this one thing through transformation. All of this is connected, and when you realize, uh, and I, I mean, even now, just sharing this information, I'm still 
uh, you know, synapses are connecting and, and realizations are deepening and being reinforced. There are levels of integration. Enlightenment simply means you are on this path to integration where you are no longer your own worst enemy, um, but you are beginning to piece things together and become self-empowered. And here we can see uh, Giza pyramids, uh, these pyramids, this great structures all over the world, Inca Mayan structures using the knowledge of Atlantis, Jehuti, though thought actually supposed to have built it and was believed to be an Atlantean survivor. That's probably common knowledge to a lot of people, but it's all connected. We're at the same point in time that when Atlantis went below the oceans, it was same thing. They were the sons of light. The sons of the law of one were in this struggle, this age old struggle with the sons of Belial, the sons of darkness, who were technological black wizards who black magic wizards who wanted to enslave consciousness. So and then you see this, these archetypes of both all over the world, appear all over the world. We're all united. All of our, we all have the same divine circuit circuitry. And here we have the and Merkaba Jehuti. Merkaba is your light, your light body, keeper of knowledge of the ancients. He was very active in Merkaba energy. Knowledge is often given to people who can bring this out to the wider world. Often this knowledge is passed down through both or his disciples. A lot of the work involves our conscious breathing and work in the energy field around the body. The body responds by activating the light field around it. And uh, so this kind of had a, a brief kind of a introduction to a lot of different topics. But I will leave you with this. Breathing is what actually defines us as divine. That is the breath of life. It is truly the doorway, the portal to higher consciousness, uh, your breathing and paying attention to your breathing. And one sure way to enter your God mind is by activating the vagus nerve. And let's say this is a simple formula. Uh, when I breathe, I tend to breathe in through my nose uh, and then you can breathe out through your mouth. But as long as you're breathing in for, let's say, four seconds, your out breath is two seconds longer. So let's say I breathe in for six seconds. I'm going to breathe out for eight seconds. So as long as your out breath is two seconds longer than your in breath and you repeat that cycle at least three times. But spend, you know, think about it in minutes, spend eight minutes at least, you know, but as long as you're breathing out two seconds longer than your in breath, you are going to activate your vagus nerve, your autonomic uh, uh, nervous system, your God mind. And whatever issues you may be experiencing or think that's uh, pressing in your life, when you're in your God mind, then you are, well, you have a, a, a different perspective in which to, uh, and actually it's a fifth dimensional focused perspective. And thus, that is when, that is when everything begins to, so anyway, namaste, let's go to